one year. One year is the amount of time that I have kept Fidoli Raya. <clears throat> one whole year. So, in this video, let's go ahead and look over that year and see how it all went, how it went down, how keeping them has gone over this past year, and do a little bit more of a recap as to what all is in the happenings and how I feel about them and the overall feeling of keeping Fidoli Rea, the largest Fidoli species in the world. So this video is going to be a video on my great experiences keeping Fatal Area. Do I regret getting them? Am I enjoying the keeping of them? How are they doing? We'll go in into all of this in a timeline of events in this video. So the first video that I posted of them is uh, a very funny title. That title being Fatal Area Queen in the Outworld. Uh, that was about a day before my actual first proper video was going to come out on them. At that point, I had had the colony for at least three days. It was uploaded July 14th, uh, so it happened around about, or sorry, not July 13th, July 16th, so it happened around July 13th when I got in the colony for sure. This was back when I was living at the other house and you didn't really see me that often. Uh, but yeah, when I first got them, they were only a few workers uh, and a queen. Like, I think there was only around about 15 to 20 workers inside of the ant colony at that time. And growing them out was going to be definitely an interesting uh, feat. So I ended up posting the actual video, the first update video on this species, on July 26th. Sorry, I had to get close to my phone there because I could not read the text on the bottom here. Of course, you can go ahead and check out all these videos. They're all in a playlist called uh, Fidoli Rea. Uh, that's a big old playlist there where you can pretty much follow the growth of the colony. Now, of course, in the early years of keeping an ant colony, there's not really that much to report on because they're small, they're growing, so I don't really have that much footage of them when they were in a test tube, but it was pretty much a basic founding of a colony, except you have to give them seeds, which would be about basic if you were to keep something like Messer. So the colony was pretty good. They started to grow, and eventually I had to move them into a nest. Now, this nest ended up being a form of squarium, and I would end up showing this, ne off, this nest off on September 24th of 2022. Now, this video was mainly just me showing off the colony, showing off how they are, basic upload, uh, showing off how the growth was, and all that fun stuff. And the colony, I believe in this video, got its first major, I could be wrong, but at this point they definitely had gotten a major, and everything was going smoothly. 
following the second update video, they would go from being pretty steady to absolutely skyrocketing in population. Now, this was absolutely amazing because the colony was doing great. Videos of them were doing great, and honestly, they were pretty much the best ant colony for the channel at the time, and it still is one of my favorites. They were so quickly growing, and they were really, really not willing to escape. They barely ever escaped, in fact. I think they didn't escape at all until I moved back here, uh, which the following update video would be happening here in this room on that shelf. So, following this, they just exploded. They continued to explode to the point where I had to get a new nest for them. Now, since that point, I've pretty much started to just minimize their growth because I want to make sure that I, I, I'm happy with how they are right now. That's the main thing. But I want to make sure that they stay this growth so that they don't end up like growing absolutely insanely large. There's a few larger colonies of them on YouTube. Uh, I think Arthur Podantics has one, but he hasn't really shown, he doesn't show off his inside colonies that much because he's mainly a herping and anting channel. Anyways, that brings us to here. Right now, where I am, how am I thinking about this over the great year of growth and keeping? Well, to be completely honest with you, these are probably some of the coolest ants I've ever kept, and I definitely do not regret getting them or regret keeping them. I am enjoying the size that they are in right now, that's why there hasn't really been that many update videos on them, at least recently. The colony is still doing great, the colony is still alive, they're still thriving. It's just I haven't been trying to grow them out as much because I don't want them to be grown out. I want them to stay at the size that they are for now. I say for now because there's a chance that I will try to grow them out even more, but only time would tell for that one, to be honest. To be honest, this species never really made me face any issues. Uh, any issues that did appear were mainly my fault, such as the periodi periodic times when workers have gotten out, but generally that is my fault because I did not check the barrier. Now I'm in a constant daily thing where I come in here, I go ahead and check out their barrier because I know that if I don't, there's a chance of them getting out. So it's just mainly just being proactive about trying to keep them in more than anything else. The colony eats well, it keeps growing, they actually have a late now if you missed that in the uh, most recent update video, I'll probably put up a clip of some elates right now, and they're just doing absolutely wonderful. I really do enjoy this species, and if you can get your hands on this species, which is very difficult for you European uh, keepers, and very difficult for people in general because not many are caught in a year, I would highly recommend getting this species. It is an absolutely wonderful species to keep. And I'd say on a level of one, which is uh, Fiddly Navigans, the worst ant species I think I've ever kept, to a five, which I don't even know what would be my favorite ant species that I've kept. No, oh, yeah, that, that would be, fatal for uh, Camponos Novobort Kensis would be my favorite. Uh, I would probably score them an 8. An 8 out of 10. Those are pretty good numbers, seeing as, and this is the first species I'm doing this with. But the colony has just been absolutely wonderful, and I'm enjoying their growth a lot. I'm enjoying, you know, there's just how they are. I recently had, or not recently, but when they got super majors, I kind of decided, eh, I'm just going to let them stay at the size that they are they are for right now, and then maybe I'll grow them out later. So for now, it's just going to be steady. You'll still get update videos on them, because I know that a lot of people like this species, but uh, don't expect any growth from them uh, in those update videos, because honestly, there's not really much to report on except for the fact that they are still alive. <laughs> at this point, the ant colony can pretty much sustain itself just on seeds. The colony can eat seeds and grow on seeds and everything on seeds. The addition of protein, of course, I always throw in some crickets or roaches or whatever I have at the time in order to make sure that they get that protein boost so that they can kind of grow in numbers a little bit, mainly if they ever have an escape. They normally lose some workers, so I try to throw in some protein. But generally, the species doesn't really need protein, it seems. They seem to more or less just completely thrive off of seeds. But yeah, anyways, uh, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I want to make a video kind of like this for a little bit now for the species because I've, they've, they're the longest kept colony in my care. 
Uh, I may end up doing one for the old Nova War Kensis colony because that colony was really, really special. It was an awesome colony. And honestly, I feel like showing off my results and how I, my experiences with these ant species can end up helping in people trying to figure out what ant species they want to keep and what may not work for them, what may be better, what may be anything. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you dislike it, subscribe if you're new. Uh, check out the Patreon, check out all that. Normal uploads, maybe, hopefully soon. I don't know at this point. I need to see, uh, probably Adam Mexicana update coming eventually. So, uh, be excited for that. There's quite a bit to update you guys on. If you haven't seen the, uh, stream highlights, I guess you can go ahead and check those out. They're on the channel, uh, where it shows them in pretty high definition, just doing their thing. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoy and enjoyed and goodbye.